Hi everybody, welcome to 2017. Today is January the 2nd, so it's been a while since uh, our last uh, video on the progress on uh, the fabric, the SDK and fabric hub. Um, so I thought I will um, publish this video uh, to start off the new year. Although the content uh, of the code would be at the level right before the Christmas break, so around December the 20th, um, which is not a big deal since during the break uh, not a whole lot of work uh, uh, were being done. Okay, so um, before I get started, I want to show you something that's really exciting. Um, uh, Greg Haskin and, and some of his uh, friends uh, in the community uh, did uh, some great work to enable the build uh, to be done uh, for the fabric to be done uh, na natively uh, without having to use the Vagrant. At least this has been working great for me uh, on Mac. So I want to show you the uh, one uh, small uh, workaround you have to do to enable this uh, and that is to um, swap out the default tarball utility with the GNU version of it and then you'll be all good to go to build the fabric on Mac. So in order to s install the GNU tarball utility you first need to get the homebrew. Uh, just go to brew.sh and follow this simple command to install Homebrew, which is a uh, package management utility for Mac. Once you get that, um, next you just install the GNU, uh, GNU version of tar, like this, brew install gnu-tar. Uh, make sure you use the switch dash dash with default names. This will um, swap out the tar command with the GNU version. Okay, so I already did that. Um, I won't do it again. Uh, so let's um, and after this, uh, you can um, uh, you can build fabric uh, on on Mac without having to uh, go to going to Vagrant first. Okay, so now. Uh, as always, uh, we need to make sure we have the right level of commits uh, for the fabric, for the SDK, and for the COP to be lined up so they can work together. Um, so for this video, we're going to use the commit level uh, here, uh, published by um, Yaakov this guy <laughs> and uh, that was on December the 19th okay so that was the fabric for the member services uh, fabric cop uh, git level is that uh, published by Keith on November the 28th and finally for Node SDK, it's a pretty uh, recent version uh, at this level uh, by um, by Yuki on December the twenty second. Okay, <clears throat> all right. So, like I said earlier, now you can um, do a make. Docker uh, right inside Mac, uh, and you get uh, you get all the Docker images uh, for this commit level. So I already did that. Um, let's um, double check the list of images I've I built. So um, yeah, basically we've got all the uh, necessary uh, Docker images built from the, the that particular commit commit level of the fabric. 
so that was built um, we also need to build uh, a fabric cob uh, that was pretty easy as well just follow the um, uh, the readme of the repository uh, we've got that going as well so let's just fire it up um, as always it's a good measure um, to clean up the um, the database that saves the um, the uh, certificate that's already been issued uh, and that's usually saved in the home directory uh, under a dot cop folder so just remove that file and then we'll uh, fire up the uh, cop server like this this is exactly the same command as before um, I don't believe you need the address switch uh, any longer so you could uh, omit this uh, because the the cops code has been updated so it's bound to all network interfaces but we'll just leave it in uh, for now there's no harm so cop service started uh, waiting to receive uh, certificate signing requests uh, now we'll start the the network. Um, we'll we'll use the Docker Compose inside the Fabric SDK node test uh, fixtures folder. Um, there's one for marbles. There's another uh, for um, just basic end-to-end. -end. We'll just use the one for basic end-to-end. -end. So we'll start it up like this. Uh, we we'll probably should just clean up the previous images, uh, previous instances first before we uh, start up the new instance. Okay. <coughs> Sometimes we get uh, this error message uh, from the uh, from the peer node complaining not being able to contact the orderer. Uh, sometimes this is a real problem. Sometimes it uh, uh, corrects itself automatically. Um, we won't find out until we uh, submit a transaction so let's go ahead and su submit a transaction and see what happens all right so now i'm in uh, node sdk folder as usual um, you would want to download that particular level of uh, commit uh, for this repository and do npm install so that's already been done i'll just do the end-to-end uh, the end-to-end -end, uh, test case has been updated so you can do uh, each step at a time so there's step one that deploys the chain code step two calls the chain code uh, to do a, a, a balance transfer transaction and step three calls the uh, query uh, to get the latest state so we'll just do step one and see um, if this can be processed properly. Sometimes we get this uh, end of file error from the orderer. Um, there's no harm um, in this error message. Uh, we do need to uh, take care of this issue um, later but um, just understand that if you see this it doesn't mean your code is bad it's just um, a, a message that we're getting from the orderer that we're not uh, handling properly uh, it's not a problem in your code this will be fixed uh, soon all right so again back in the uh in the log message uh in the from the network we see that block is committed 
commit process. So that looks pretty good. Um, this should, uh, we see this happening for uh, VP1. Uh, there should be a similar message for VP0. Uh, that we're not seeing right now. This might mean that VP1 uh, is connected to the order, but VP0 is not. Um, so this might be a problem for uh, the fabric uh, to fix later down the road. But as far as um, what we need to test at the moment, uh, it's, it's probably OK. So we'll just continue. Step two calls both VP0 and VP1 uh, to, uh, to issue the transaction. Okay, so it looks like one of the um, one of the peers did not have the chain code properly deployed from the uh, error message here. Uh, transaction not found. Could not find this chain code. Okay. So that probably means uh, VP0, as we saw uh, before with the error message of not being able to connect to the orderer, uh, did, not, um, did not have the chain code properly um, installed. So let's try restarting the network and see if that would uh, fix the problem. Now this time we're not seeing that uh, error about not being able to connect to the orderer, so this looks better now. Okay, so since we restarted the instances and uh, created new instances of the Docker, uh, we need to redeploy the chain code. So let's start restart with step one. So back here we should see a commit message from both VP0 and VP1. Let's see if that's indeed the case. So this is from VP0. Do we have a similar message from VP1? Let's, let's check. So VP0 had to commit success, VP1. Yeah, VP1 also had to commit success. So both of them had uh, the chain code uh, successfully deployed. Okay, so now we can do step two. Let's see, back here. Okay, so now we're seeing uh, VSCC checking the signature. It's invalid. 
Uh, however, the transaction still went through, it looks like. Uh, let's double check. Okay, commit success, uh, that's VP0, about VP1, commit success. Okay, so uh, the tr transaction still went through. The error message from VSCC is likely a, um, uh, a point in time thing. So it seems like uh, the transaction was still uh, committed properly. Okay, so that's as far as you can make uh, with the current uh, level of the code. If you try step three, which makes a query uh, through the chain code, you will get this message. Um, this is because the node SDK code still needs to be um, enhanced uh, with some API refactoring, um, and, and that's not done yet. But um, with the uh, previously mentioned levels of commits uh, for Fabric, uh, Fabric Cop, and SDK, uh, you are able to deploy chain codes uh, and uh, send transactions. Okay, so that's that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.